Hi, this is Tanya Lux, and I'm going to take you through a tour of the Painter Essentials 7 UI. By default, when you launch Painter Essentials, you have the welcome screen to greet you. You can do things like set up your documents, you can choose a layout. We do support both a laptop and a two in one tablet, and you can choose a layout whether you're right handed or left handed. We have all kinds of tutorials for you. And there's also Get More, which offers additional brush packs that you can purchase for particular workflows for Painter. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the welcome screen. And if we take a look at the UI, the first thing you'll notice is that we have a nice dark skin on it. If I quickly hop over to Painter Essentials 6, we had the light interface. And what I like about 7 is that it really makes your artwork pop with the dark UI. Now, if we come over to the toolbar, as I select different tools in the bar, we'll notice there's a purple highlight. And it just really accentuates whatever tool that you have selected. Very easy to see it. The icons themselves have also been entirely revamped. I've got the magnifier. And if I come to the center of the canvas and I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet, I'm going to tap with the stylus and move to the right or left. And this allows me to scrubby zoom. And that's a new feature in Painter Essentials 7. As you select different tools, the property bar is context sensitive and it will provide the options for the tool at hand. Now let's come to the brush selector and we have all kinds of new brush technology for you. There are four new categories and I really think you're going to love them. The very first that I'd like to show is dab stencils. And if we take a look at the variants, we have some that are called flow map and some that have paper before the name. If I select a flow map variant on the property bar, we have a new menu that offers flow map textures. And these brushes are very expressive. And as I paint from light to harder, you can see that texture is really expressed. There's a bunch of different brush variants that you can play with and they're all going to have a different look and feel, but they will all express the flow map if you're in the flow map variant section. If you choose from the paper, then those are going to show the paper texture. So let's come back up here. And the next brush category is dynamic speckles. These are very painterly types of brushes, um, very natural media looking. Then we also have glazing, and these brushes are going to allow you to build from soft to full opacity. If I come over to the FX category, these include our image hose brushes. And although the image hose brushes are not new, the fact that you have an entire library of nozzles to choose from is. With digital watercolor, we don't have new brush variants, but what we do have is the ability to set the diffusion, adjust the fringe, and also dry your paint. And that's going to give your paintings a whole new look. Let's take a look at the photo painting panel, and right in the center, if I expand the menu, you're going to find eight new artificial intelligence painting styles. I guarantee you're going to have tons of fun with this. Let's take a look at the color wheel. Now with the color wheel on the outside, you have the hue. There are nice, large new sliders. And we also have a split preview. So as I'm changing the hue, it's showing me before and after. And it will also do that when you're choosing the saturation or value. You can also come to the menu and we could say use clone color. And that means that you're going to be painting with the color from a photo. Although we're not photo painting at the moment, you can see in the photo painting palette that you can also turn on the clone color from here. And by default, when you choose an image, it will turn that on for you. There's also the ability to swap colors, and swap colors is going to swap the main and the additional color that we see in the toolbar. And you can easily change those colors as you hit the swap option. We can change those colors and set up two that we might be using quite often during our painting process. If I come and I start a new document, you'll also have the universal color selector here as well. So we've brought that in wherever you're selecting color throughout Painter Essentials. Now the final thing that I'd like to mention is if we come up to the preferences, 
and we go to tablet. I had mentioned that I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. Essentials detected that. If you are using a real-time stylus compatible device, you should come in here and just ensure that you've turned this on so that you'll have full support of the pressure and tilt with your stylus. We also support multi-touch on both types of devices and by default Painter Essentials should detect that for you. So let's go ahead and close out of this and that completes my tour of what's new in Painter Essentials 7. Mm -hmm.